Heart's Desire has landed in Rise of Kingdoms, but should you be using your sovereign keys on it? Come find out. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms gameplay episode from your very own Shappy Gaming. Today, we are going to be covering the Heart's Desire event in Rise of Kingdoms and comparing it to the Legendary Tavern, which we have today. And hopefully, I can tell you guys which event you should be investing your sovereign keys in, and uh, we can figure out what the pros and cons of each are. So with that, let's get into it, shall we? So the Heart's Desire event allows you to pick five different commanders from the Legendary Tavern list, and it gives you improved odds of give, getting gold heads and 10 heads for each of those commanders. The catch is that you only get to pick five commanders, which if you only have to work on those five commanders, it's great. Uh, but you also don't really get the 210 pick 10 ch chest at the end, which kind of sucks. Um, but maybe getting those commanders that you actually want is worth it. So today we're gonna go through, I'm gonna open the uh, 111 keys uh, that I have, and hopefully we can find out if it's really worth it. Before that, I did go through and do the math for you like I have in all of my other guide videos, which if you haven't checked out, you probably should. And it turns out that the odds of getting a legendary commander sculpture or 10 are is about 33%. 33% uh, of the time, you're gonna get a gold head or 10, which is great. That means one in three keys and three you should. The problem is that that means that two out of every three keys that you open, you're actually not gonna get any gold heads, which sucks. But hopefully today I can open a bunch of keys and I have 111, so maybe we'll do 100 and then I can break it down and actually tell you, did we get 33 keys or 33 heads? I don't know, we'll find out. I will also point out that you can get rewarded for opening these sovereign keys. And my understanding is that it still does count for your crystal quests quests uh, in here if you use them on Heart's Desire. So if you're worried, it still counts. I think the only downside is you don't get the uh, 100 or the 200 chest, uh, 200 key reward there, which honestly is okay. Saving up these keys for a long time can be really painful. And if I can get the commanders I want, why not spend it? So hopefully, uh, this will be worth it. I think that it should be. Um, you know, I also am not getting the tokens to buy the gold, the universal gold heads, which may be a downside there, but I don't know. Let's let's find out. I think that it could be worth it. So, with that, let's let's do it, y'all. Ten gold, ten sovereign keys. What do we get? We have ooh. So what is that? We got. 10, 11, 12, 13 on the first 10. Oh, wow. This is a nice start. That's awesome. Okay, next 10. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Oh, that's not bad. We got three that time. Actually, that is kind of bad. Let's do another 10. Ooh. Okay, we got 12 that time. So if you guys are keeping count, we are now at 28, 28, so five more. I think this is gonna be worth it, y'all. Okay, three there. And let's keep going. What is that, four there? I will also point out that the resources you get from this are actually pretty good. Uh, that said, you should never be buying Sovereign Keys. It's really not worth it. It's 600 gems a piece. Uh, so even if you want to do Heart's Desire, you should save them up from the free events. Please don't spend gems on them. Okay. There we go. That's three more heads. That's not bad. I, I do have to say, I feel that if you guys watch my Legendary Tavern video, I got a whole bunch of commander heads that I'm never gonna use. All five of these I think I will be able to use, 
So I'm actually kind of excited about it. And I think I had five there. Okay, that's another four there. Yeah, we're getting tons of gold heads from this. This is great. Okay, three more. And this is it. That's that's a hundred keys right there. And so for a hundred keys, we got a bunch. So let's do some math real quick and I will be right back. So I've done the math for you all and I, it looks like I got 54 gold heads for 100 sovereign keys, which is actually really good. Uh, you know, the odds are 33% of the time I'm gonna get, you know, some gold heads. Uh, but I think the advantage is the when you do get those 10. So originally I said, don't spend your gems on sovereign keys. But if you go with the math of the fact that it's 600 for every gold key, and I got a gold head maybe half the time? I don't know, guys. My odds, my odds are going to be different than yours, though. But if you do use a comparison of 2,000 gems for every gold head, it's worth it. Let me know in the comment section below. What do you think? Are you guys going to be spending gems on, on sovereign keys? I don't think I am just because I'd rather use uh, the wheel because it lets me pick my commanders more narrowly. But if you do need the five commanders that you put here, it might actually not be that bad. I'm pleasantly surprised with the results of this. I do have to say, and I'm out of chances for today, so I have to wait till reset. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Do you think that this is worth it? I mean, I now got to work on a bunch of different commanders that I haven't touched in a while. You know? Oh, by the way, I'm Max Flavius. But let's see, what do we got? YSS, I got an extra skill. Almost two. That's awesome. Let's see. Harold, I got an extra skill. I think that's awesome. I think that I'm going to be saving up and using my Sovereign Keys on Heart's Desire every single time going forward. Are you? Let me know in the comment section below. Shappy out.